Hello, Warriors. I wanted to jump in here today because I know that all of us, if not most of us, are going through some form of warfare. Um, and another person in the Bible who went through his fair share, if not more than his fair share of warfare, was David. And he wrote 150 psalms. Well, actually, he didn't read, write all 150 of them, actually, but most of, a good portion of them he wrote. Um, in how he went through handling that, how he asked God to help him, and the healing process he went through is also the same healing process that we can go through when we go through the Psalms as well. Um, so I'm going to be going through that with you for the coming months. Um, not at any set times. It's when I'm able to get in here several times a week. Sometimes I may drop a, uh, a Zoom link so that you can come in and join me and and we can go th over it together and maybe share some testimonials or prayers together. And, um, but today I wanted to come with that, uh, come to you with Psalms 1. And some of the biggest takeaways that I came, uh, that, that are in Psalms 1. And I'm going to read this first verse here and it said, says in the King James Version, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Um, so it's saying here that we are not supposed to be um, seeking out ungodly counsel. Um, you know, and I did that actually for a while. I was on a personal development kick, still am, um, but um, I was seeking out personal personal development information from anyone and everyone. Um, just kept, you know, kind of fire hose type of thing. And God eventually did this. <laughs> Come back here. You know, real wisdom starts in the Word of God from the, with the fear of the Lord. That's where, that's where you start to um, attain wisdom. That's where you're going to find godly counsel. And then, you know, you pray to him to lead you to other people, godly counselors and godly leaders um, who can also help to build you up in, in wise counsel and wisdom as well. Um, so we have to be very careful from whom we're seeking our counsel from. And sometimes, not only that, um, we'll get unsolicited counsel from uh, those who are maybe godly or maybe not so godly. Um, and the biggest thing that we have to know is when or when not to receive it. And because if it's not what God is saying to you, don't receive it. Um, you don't have to receive it. It's his, not his words. And something I wanted to share here, it says, Jesus went through the same thing with Peter. He and this is in Matthew 16:23 and he turned and said to Peter, "Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you're not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men." So, he wasn't completely clear on God's he was thinking from from his viewpoint. You know, he was thinking from a a, a like earthly kingdom and not a heavenly kingdom and he didn't fully understand what uh, Jesus's mission was so Jesus know, knew what he was there to do he understood his path and uh, Peter was actually being used by Satan um, at that moment in time to try to get Jesus off the path and of course, Jesus um, said, get thee behind me, Satan. And we need to do the same exact thing. When we have uh, somebody who, uh, usually, lots of times it will take you by surprise. I just recently had this happen to me by somebody who is close to me. And they are deceived themselves a lot of times, not always. Um, but they have given Satan a way in <laughs> and... They think that they are. Um, they think that they are uh, giving you good advice. That they're giving you sound counsel, and it's completely opposite of what um, Jesus has told you or what your spirit has told you. And I was reminded. Ah, keep your eyes on me. Remember what I told you. Remember what I have said to you. Come to me, um, and that is what you have to do always. 
um, you know when something comes at you and it can be surprising and it can be hurtful, that is not yours. And if you receive in and receiving it is the worst thing that you can do. Always come to Jesus first, get, a, get at his feet, and have him remind you of what he has told you. Because that is the counsel that you need to seek, his counsel only. Um, never receive the words of man if Jesus is not already confirmed that to you. Um, so, and when you don't do, and make sure that you're not sitting in the seat of the squirrel, you have to very, be very pay a lot of attention to who you surround yourself with. It is very important that you have the right people around you. Otherwise, they are designed to pull you off the path. And a lot of times, um, you know, you'll start to understand who those people are um, because they start, you know, sometimes, again, it can be the, the godly. They can try to pull you off the path because they don't realize they're not on the path either. So very important who you who your um, circle of people is, but his delight is the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. So that's where you're getting your counsel from. That's where you're seeking um, wisdom from is in his word. He will let you know whether you're on the right path or not. That is the wisdom that you need. That is the counsel that you need. This is where you're going to find your the will and the purpose of God for you, not from man. And when you do this, you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. So it's telling you that when you get your counsel from God, when you get your wisdom from God, when you're asking the Spirit to lead you into all truth and not listening to what man is saying to you, not receiving the words that man is saying to you, because they're almost always, even if they're not aware of their intent, pulling you out of God's will. Um, because if they're not in God's will, they can be used to get you out of God's will. And, and Satan is very wily. He's a very wily enemy. We have to remember that, that we are in warfare. Um, and that we have to always be if we're not in the word of god we're not seeking out his will we're not seeking out his counsel we're not seeking to be uh, filled with the holy spirit and to be led by the spirit then we can easily get pulled off by man's counsel so it's critical that we stay at the feet of jesus um so i wanted to share that with you today um and you'll be seeing a lot of me we'll be talking about psalms uh, with 150 chapters, that's going to take a minute. Also, um, we'll be doing uh, an evening um, Hebrew study, which I'm very excited about, and we'll, I'll be putting that, um, posting that in the events section soon. And I hope you guys have a happy Monday, and I'll see you guys next time.